Hi, I want to show you a website that's very helpful for teachers, admins, substitutes are very helpful for them, parents, and students, and along with sharing with other teachers. This is called Live Binders. Live Binders is a way to get rid of the paper trail and leave a, more of a digital trail to say, but helpful with the digital so it's not a bad digital trail like a paper trail could be. Um, what it is is we're going to go to Live Binders and we're going to create our own three ring binder to share with others. Um, what we'll first do is go to the website. It's called www.livebinders.com and then it brings you to the page I was already on. Um, what we'll, where we'll start is we'll start with a sign up. You can, we'll view some other um, options towards the end of the video, but we're going to start by signing up and just diving in and getting into this. So we click on the top bar, the top right corner of sign up. Now what you're going to do is insert a username, your email, and a password. So I'm going to do another one I have. Wait a minute. We'll start with the username as a sample. How about that? Oop. And then the email. And then I'm just going to give it a password. Okay. Now we're going to sign up. Okay, so we're going to, we can't use sample, so let's go with sample underscore one, two, three, four, five. Maybe that'll work. Okay, let's retype all this. And one, two, three, four. I'm just doing something very easy. You do whatever you want to do. Okay, now sign up. <sighs> there we go. Okay, so now this is what I would like to call like a dashboard. I guess you would call it. But this is where you'll keep all your binders. Um, this is your navigation, how you can go through the website, um, how you can add new content, new binders and such. So, I mean, you could make a binder for your parents, a binder for people at work. You can make a binder for, you know, friends and family. You can make a binder pretty much for any anyone or anything. Um, so, what we're going to first do is we need to make sure that, well, it always opens up on my page. So this is kind of like your, like I said, my dashboard. It's your page. Um, this arrow right here tells you that you're on there. So if you went home, that was what the home screen looks like. It's right there. You see the arrow. Same for featured, upgrade. Well, that's the paid account, so we don't, don't do anything with that one. So, what you're going to do is go back to my page. Okay, so now we're going to start our first binder. And if you look down here in all my binders section, when you roll over this, you'll see this pops up. You have options, edit, and present. And options let you share your binder, such as, you know, details about it, <clears throat> make a copy, or present, present it. Um, but we need to go into edit. So click on edit. 
And this is going to bring you up to a tutorial type quick tour um, thing. You can go through this and it's going to show you what the difference is about where how you can add tabs and content and pages to your binder. Um, so the first one was um, it tells you that you know you have these tabs up here and you have tabs right here as well. And then the second one tells you that you can you know if you find a, a website you want to link into there for like a substitute um, to go to that page to grab a, a YouTube video or something you would be able to paste that YouTube uh, URL in there and they would be able to go straight to it and show the class what video they're supposed to be watching. Um, it tells you up here this is where you'll go to add any of your files um, your text, even even the URL, or anything else, any multimedia, um, or just text. The next one is your settings. This is just where you can change the look, the feel, the description, the names, like such as like the tabs. You can name them something else. Um, things of that nature. This one is well, what I just said, where you can change the names of these tabs. And this is where you can go more little tabs up here for you to share um, share your binders with others. So it'll give you like a link. And then if you need to come back to this page, you can go over to the help menu. So we're going to hit in this tour. And what we're going to do is we're going to start by going to our settings. This is the first, the first place I start when I come here. Um, and so we're get, we have different tabs up here we can click on name access which is like your privacy or you know if you need to make it public here's where you can play with your colors change the background the tab colors each tab will ha can have sub tab it'll be like a drop down menu um, so you have all these different colors you can play with and then there's a layout and that just changes kind of where you keep your tabs if you want to keep them at the top of the page the left or the right or scrolling and then you can actually change the cover to any kind of picture that you want wherever you would go to find your image to put on there um, but for now we're going to close out of that so we're going to go back here and we're going to just change simple settings to get going on here and we're just going to click into binder so we're going to name this one um, My Binder. And we need to, if you want, give it a little description. We can just say Share First Binder. Um, I wouldn't do any tags. Um, you can put your name down here for an author. So there's my name. And we're going to say that this one, we'll keep it with education because we're kind of in the education field and we're teaching or we're making this binder to show other uh, teachers how to create them and share their own content. So we'll keep it education. And we're going to click save. Now it says um, back here it was updated. So we're going to just X out of here now. And that will start our um, settings. Now this page here that you're seeing is this first um, tab and it just has more the same information that I just went over and then it also has a video over here you can watch and it'll do the same thing. Um, you would click here to edit things um, which granted well, I'm not going to edit in this one so we're going to start with tab two. So um, we, if you, if this appears on yours, I mean it will. And once you start getting this binder going, you would go to just delete this tab. That way, it's not here. And then now we start with tab two. So now it's a fresh blank uh, tab. Now the first thing we're going to do is go over here into this tab and once again we have the drop down 
but we're going to click right here and we're going to re oh, let's close that first. We're going to rename this. No, I'm sorry. We're going to go to content first. And this is where, um, I, I, normally I've been changing the name right here instead of there, but that other spot, you can change it here or you can change it up here in, in content. Um, either way, it updates it. Um, so here we're going to start with the tab and we're just going to hit multimedia text one. I know. Um, and what we're going to say this is, is we're going to say this is text. Now you get another option now to select your layout. Um, I mean, there's different types. You can do all text, you can do pictures, you can do um, many different things on just how you want it to look. So if like you were doing a front page or a cover and you just wanted a picture, you would do just the media. Um, or if you needed to title it, say like History Lesson 101, and then you'd have a picture. Um, I'm going to grab, let's see, we're going to grab media text. How about that one? Okay, now we're going to just hit update. And you can see right here that it's made this other box. So we're going to close out of here. And now we're going to insert some media. So I have already opened up into another window, so you might need to pause it. Um, this is just a little site where we can go and get different images, free stock images, um, which I'm not downloading or purchasing. So um, I just put into the... Um, the search thing a classroom so we're gonna search and we will come up with different images let's grab this little guy um, and so I will just right click on him and save the image actually I don't need to save it I'm sorry I'm going to copy the URL and I'm going to come back here and paste it right here. Hit insert and there's my image. Now say that this was you know part of your lecture or something and so here you say daydreaming while doing classwork. Um, that's pretty much I mean you would put in whatever you want this didn't have to match each other but they're good um, ways of getting going with that. So from here, we're just going to go up here to save. So and make sure our stuff saved. It's saving here. And now if you wanted to share, you have a link, you can email it, you can put it on Facebook, um, you know, my, whatever, you know, if you have a Facebook page for your, uh, your parents, that would be a good way. Um, there's a, a few different there's a few different um, really cool binders I want to show you. If you go to Featured, you could also go to Home. It pulls up different binders you can look through. I've already pulled them up so that way we didn't have to go through all that trying to find them. Um, this is a good one for just teachers and students. Um, here's all your subtopics you can use. Um, I'm sub tabs. Um, I mean, there's there's a ton on this one. Digital storytelling, games, social studies, math, science. Um, just things you can click through. This is a good one for a substitute. It has different um, classes and different topics and what they need to do for the class. Um, this is another substitute one. Lessons, instructions. Um, this is an actual school one that helps with parents. They have many different tabs, sub-tabs. Um, you can just go through them. Nutrition, I mean, it has all kinds of stuff about the school. And then here's another one I found about for uh, to do for the kids. So they could come on here and they could learn some stuff, everything they needed to know about Jamestown in this instance. And then at the end, there was a place I saw that it's like, okay, well, once you get here, come see me and we'll do um, a quiz. 
So I just thought it was really neat. Um, good site for helping everything. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did sharing.